Now, from the Weather Tracker TV Storm Studios, this is your weather tonight. Here's Chief Meteorologist William Cole. All right, folks, here we go now heading right on into our Thursday evening. And I tell you what, if you're making any kind of Thursday evening plans, it will definitely not be a washout. But could we have a few light showers around the area? The answer to that is yes, putting it at about a 30% probability. Uh, temperatures here in the Metroplex will be easing through the 50s, so it will be a cool to chilly evening. And again, that uh, jacket will definitely feel nice. We've already had a few sprinkles here in Dallas County. And like I mentioned, really, truly any precip we see here in the Metro plex through the evening will be relatively light. Now, who saw rain today? It's really reflected in our daytime highs. Look at our southern counties. Daytime high temperatures, actual high temperatures here, were only in the mid 50s. Uh, we made it to about 59 officially at DFW. And again, you can see locations off to the west and to the northwest, a little bit milder with a mix of 60s up there. But again, generally speaking, it was a pretty cool day. There's the ongoing rain heading into the evening. And again, you can see it's mainly in our southern, southeastern counties. You can see there in Dallas County, a little finger of reflectivity trying to move through. So that will be the case as we go through the evening. Again, a couple in the Metroplex, very light shower a little bit more in the way of moderate rain, mainly in our southern counties. But look at the wave of rain. We've been talking about this all afternoon, uh, moving from southwest to northeast. It's along that stationary boundary. It's kind of the focus of, again, the scattered shower and even a few rumbles of thunder down in uh, parts of the deep south of Texas. And really, as we go through this evening, as we go through tonight, as we go through tomorrow, Friday, the rain will continue, mainly in this area you're seeing now. Uh, but as we get into late tomorrow, Friday, there will be another little piece of energy coming through. Then across North Texas, we may have an opportunity of some scattered showers then, more widespread. We'll talk about that coming up. Otherwise, through the rest of the evening and the overnight, there's the heavy rain zone, right? If we were to see heavier rain, it's mainly south of North Texas, right? Down into parts of Central Texas and also parts of Eastern Texas as well. Speaking of heavy rain, we've been highlighting this as well throughout the day. Uh, there's been some heavy rain, again, well south of North Texas, but near, near Spring, Texas, right off of I-44. If you're heading down to Houston, there's one location just north of Spring that has had nearly seven inches of rain in about 12 hours. There's also some ongoing flash flood warnings currently just east of old San Antonio as well. Again, here in North Texas, even though we need some rain, uh, unfortunately, the way it looks right now for us, uh, it's going to be relatively light, right? So here's what the model does. Again, you can see as we go through the evening, eh, can we have a couple showers? Not impossible here locally. Again, you can see our southern counties a little bit more in the way of active rain. Again, as we go through the evening, even as we go through the overnight, generally cloudy overnight. And again, you can see similar story as we go through tomorrow. A few scattered showers around most of this mainly in our southern counties. But by late day, here comes that little piece of energy. Then again, take a look at this right here. Some scattered activity moves across North Texas and that will even be in a Friday night, early Saturday morning, that activity basically exiting off to the east. And then as we head into the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, uh, both looking dry right now. So future rainfall projections, some of this could be a little bullish, but again, here in the Metroplex, over a tenth of an inch, maybe some locations a quarter, again, mainly factoring in uh, that late Friday activity. And then as you get down into parts of our southern and southeastern counties, some locations down there may pick up over an inch of rain. So lows tonight, it's going to be another pretty chilly night, right? Some 40s around, some locations closer to 50, uh, but again, out the door for your finally Friday. Yeah, the jacket's going to be needed. And so you can see the overnight rain probabilities better down in our southern and especially our southeastern counties as we go through tomorrow, Friday. Again, it's going to be another contrast in temperatures, a little milder to the north. But again, where we do have that opportunity of rain through the afternoon. Yes, absolutely. Temperatures will be held down in our southern counties. Opportunity of rain, again, mainly building in late day across the area and then like I mentioned for any kind of Friday evening Friday night plans I would anticipate some scattered showers around the area so then as we get into Friday night uh, again yeah it's going to be another pretty chilly night overnight lows generally in the 40s that's where we're going to start the weekend and then as we head into Saturday well with the sun beginning to return of course we start kind of cloudy in the morning uh, but with the sun returning through the afternoon take a look at that 70s around the area and again the way it looks right now Saturday really uh, turning out to be okay so as we head on into the weekend uh, again you can see temperatures will be building essentially day by day and in fact really even going forward in time there you can see by the time we get to this upcoming Monday, Tuesday, back in the 70s, could be a few showers and thunderstorms around Monday into Tuesday. We'll track that. And then there may be another opportunity towards the end of the following week with potentially some stronger storms then.